I started bringing you the team changes if you were late joining us. It was Simpson and Kelly rotated to the bench, and Stanislas, who's going to miss about the next five or six weeks with injury, as Lerma jumps airily there and gives away a free kick. Uh, Lockyer's ended up on the ground in a bit of pain, holding his head from the challenge by Jefferson Lerma. It seemed to be an honest aerial challenge with players coming from different directions, Willow. It's a is that a red kick? It is a red card for Jefferson Lerma. Well, that's, that's an amazing decision. Jefferson Lerma never once took his eyes off the ball there, went over the top of Berry, the Luton player. He collided with Lockyer. Jefferson Lerma can't, but he's looking around thinking, is this a joke? In the early stages of the second half, as Luton with their first quarter of the game in towards Potts, headed to the back post. Another fantastic save. Berry again denied. And Begovic again, as the rebound came back, palms it past the post. Begovic in two minutes has made three fantastic stops. Absolutely amazing. This fella is in the form of his life. I don't know how he's got to that second chance. What a save that was, even better than the first one. He's oh. got away with his foot. Well, Berry volleyed it, full pelt from six yards, and through the middle, Luton has stretched. King threads it down the inside left channel, Solanke's onto it! Oh, what a clearance off the line! Absolutely brilliant defending. Last-ditch stuff as Solanke flicked it past the goalkeeper. It was rolling towards the net, and there was a heroic goal-line clearance from Luton to put it past the post for a corner. Approach in the penalty area, shadowed by Rico. Luton slow to get bodies forward to join Harry Cornick here. And then there's a bit of space here for Dewsbury Hall. Onto his favoured left foot! And Dewsbury Cherry's resolve on the counter-attack set up by the former Cherry Cornick and Dewsbury Hall finds the bottom left corner and with 21 minutes played in the second half it's Bournemouth nil, Luton 1. Well he took it well, it was one of them situations where he arrived late and he's sort of outnumbered 